Hello everyone, it's Carol with scrap a dab -a -do. I am going to do the tutorial on how to make the flip page that we did in the pumpkin book. Um, it is this one that folds open and I promised that I would show how to make it. So you want to grab two pieces of cardstock and you're going to cut your pieces four and a fourth by eleven. four and a fourth by five and a half, four and a fourth by five, four and a fourth by four and a half, and then you'll want one piece that is one inch by twelve inches. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to score. This is the base of your card. This is what everything's going to attach to. And you're going to score it at four inches. Oh, and I forgot to say, this is a tutorial that I found at Creek Bank Creations. And Julie Creek was the one that showed how to make it. So it's scored. The first one is at four inches, then at four and a half, five. And five and a half. So you're going to fold this in half. And then you also want to fold all of your other fold lines. Okay, so with it folded in half, you want to have it face up and you want your score lines to be to the left. So starting with the shortest piece, you're just going to put glue. Oh, let me see. I think I need to unclog my glue. Just use my quick dry. So you're going to put a generous amount in there, but you don't want it to be over the score line. So just fill in that with that. And you're going to take and glue it with the four and a fourth side right up to your score line, but not on top of it. Okay. Get any excess glue off of there so it doesn't stick. So on the next score mark, you're going to do the same thing, and you're just going to fill that in with glue, and you're going to take the next smallest piece, and you're going to glue it right up to that score line, lining everything up and press it down good. Get a little baby wipe here. All right, then on the last score line, you're going to do the same thing and put glue on there. 
and with the four and a fourth side, you're going to glue that right up to the top. Okay. Ooh. Let that stick. And then let's go ahead and open this one up and make sure nothing's glued down. So that is your base. All right. So then we're going to flip this over and open it up. And as you can see, these, I don't think you can see it. These are your score lines. Okay. So they're going to be there. And you want to take, and you want to glue your base piece on here about halfway up. So you're just going to make a little mark and you just want to keep your glue kind of inside those marks. And you want to glue your one by 12 inch piece to where it's pretty even inside those lines. Okay. Then you're going to close this and these two pieces are going to flip to the back and you're going to glue them to one another. Oh, this needs to be 11 inches long, not 12. So I'm just going to snip off a little bit of it. And those, this is, you want to just glue them to each other. You don't want it to be glued to the bottom pieces. You just want it glued um, to each other. And that is what's going to open it up. And we're going to make a tab to glue on there. In any tab you have, I have a tab punch. So I'm just going to punch out two pieces. And on this very back piece, I'm going to open it up. And on this long one, I'm going to take and run my tabs through to make them stickers. And I am going to just center this and put it just over the edge. And when you're covering this, you'll want to make sure that you cover this piece with a piece of paper. Otherwise, it's going to catch when you open it. Then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to just line this one up 
and glue them to one another. Okay. And then we're going to close it back up. I have a little bit of glue here that I'm going to wipe off. And we're going to fold these back over. And we're just going to glue these to one another. Like I say, you don't want it to be glued to the back because it's got to give it room to move. So you just want to put enough glue on there so that the top one glues to the bottom one. And let that dry really well. And then when you glue this onto your album, <coughs> you are only going to want to put glue on this piece, not on the whole back piece, but just on the, um, let's see, there we go, just on this piece. See how it's open? You just want to put glue on this piece, and that is what you're going to glue down, okay? And so then when it's glued down, it's hard to open it, but when it's glued down, you will be able to pull your book open like this. And it does work really well once it's glued down and solid. It really does. It just wants to be a bugger right now. So that is all there is to making the flip pages for your book. So then you're going to just glue it down and it should just slide right open. And this last one will open once you get it glued down, I promise. So then you want to decorate all your pages and you might want to do that before you glue it into your book makes it a whole lot easier, but that's all it is. So there you go.